So let's go back just a little bit. So during the fight scenes and they're fighting and shooting and all that stuff, where what w- what was your like reaction to all that? I thought have, it was great. I ha- thought have you seen anything like that before? No. And what I thought was really cool about it was that it wasn't matrixy. Like he was- no. wasn't running up walls and stuff. I loved how he was like climbing on dudes and like how he would use their body weight against them. And it all seemed very real. It seemed very much like. You know that that that's actually possible. You, you use this guy as a shield, break his neck, shoot him in the face anyway, kind of thing. Um, I, I loved it. It's I mean, in it's in stark contrast to the Bourne series, so the Jason Bourne action. You're right. We talked about yeah. that a, a lot during when we did that movie. Um, how it's very tight. You're not really seeing any because it's like the right. camera's right there. It's shaky cam, and that was at the time. Um, very original because it, it gave you a sense of holy shit I'm in this fight kind of thing and this one you everything is plain as day clearly you know you're way back you see all of the action but it still feels so authentic yeah great point didn't think about it you're right I mean that born stuff it it's all happening in front of you, but you're not really seeing the motion of like the arms and this or breaking this or what, you know, like when he breaks the guy's leg, um, that when he's going down the hall or whatever and he just, uh, hold on just a second, let me break your leg, let me take care of this guy. Okay, now I'm going to shoot you in the face. Right. I mean, that's the kind of stuff that happens so fast in other movies that you just don't really notice. Right. It's it, and it's it's very movie magic. Yeah. Like with the Bourne stuff cuz it's all camera trickery and, and not stuff. to take away from that. I love that. No, it, yeah, it was, fact, it was it like was it the, was good. It was groundbreaking at the time. Me but and Casey, it's amazing that they were able to just completely reinvent. Yeah. Action films with this. And now all these other films are doing this exact same thing. They, they slow it down. They even have a 3 or 4 seconds where he goes, "Oh shit." Uh, reload right yeah. uh, it's so great he, the yeah. second one there's even a great moment where he he has to hit somebody with a fucking gun and then reload <laughs> yes. and then shoot him again it's so dope yes the yeah. like the the action choreography is like so well done yeah they get stunt so well done something. it's almost like a dance music video like sure like definitely something you see on mtv or and i bet they they spend that much time on they it have choreography they, do. they spend a lot of time on the choreography and what what I I saw that they do differently is they actually brought the cameraman in for the 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 practice choreography so that the cameramen were in the whole they're choreographed as all well. of it yeah. yeah so the from the very beginning they're aware of what's going on so when they're doing on the camera stuff they're they're not surprised and like oh well, where am I supposed to be and right. what am I supposed to shoot yeah so that was a big big part of it too but this training is just tons and tons and tons of training I don't know if you want to play that. Yeah. That thing. Um, well, before I John. say that, I do just want to like flash back to a podcast that we did. Um, it was uh, Roadhouse, and what we found out was <laughs> is that all of that was real. It was real. But they that's, were you know, really you can't do that for every movie. Really fighting because then all the actors die, and you can't do other movies. Right? You can't do that. 